Hello everyone, welcome to Style2D channel. In this video, you will learn the 3D Windows tools. So let's get started. The main features we'll be talking about today, including the hover toolbar on the left and the list of features that pop up on, in the right-click window. The first one is Show Arrangement Points. You can also press the shortcut key A to display the arrangement and quickly place the clothing plate. Using this function, you can first click the plate in the 3D window and then slide the mouse over the blue dot in different parts to preview the simulate states of the plate. Let's click to confirm. And then another way is to select a specific garment plate in the 2D window, which can also be repositioned in the 3D window. The second tool is show skeleton. The shortcut is shift plus X. Under this function, our clothing will be in the state of can't select and we can only adjust the model skeleton. Each of the white dots can be adjusted, but several large dark spots indicates the main point of movement in the body. We can drag and drop these points to directly adjust the pose of the model, or we can click on them to rotate the axis in one direction. But by default, there is a limit to how our bone moves, which ensures that our postures in accordance with the true human body. If you click rotate angle limit in the upper right corner, the model skeleton will rotate and twist indefinitely. Next, we look at the part body function in the upper right corner. We can see that when this function is enabled, dragging joints will only affect the motion of two joints adjacent to the dragging point. Compare this to the full body function where you drag a single joint and the entire body of the vertebral model will move with it. And then there is a little feature that we can zoom in and see. Clicking on a node will not only bring up the axis of rotation but also a little person nearby. And you can see that it's blue which is open and then we move the left joint, the right side rotates in sync. Turn it off and then rotate one joint and it doesn't interact with the other side. The same is true for the knees and we can edit them simultaneously like this. The next feature is Avatar Textured Surface, which is turned on by default. If you turn it off, it will present such a white model state. And then open it and you can see that the model will be more consistent with the real human skin texture. The fourth function is Avatar Mesh. Click it to show the mesh of the model surface, which is purple here. When we zoom it and look at the model's hair, we can see that it actually exists in the form of an enclosed box, not transparent as we see by default. The interior covered by the whole grid is the place where collision reaction will occur. So we should pay attention to the bounding box of the model when doing clothing simulation, and it should not exceed the limit of the bounding box. The fifth function is cloth textured surface, which can be switched by Alt plus two. When this feature is turned off, the garment appears gray. The sixth function is cloth thick. If we turn off this function, we will find that the clothing is very thin. The hole is more like a shell and there will be a big difference in color between the front and the back of the cloth. By clicking the plate, we can also change its extra render thickness attribute in the property editor on the right. The next feature called cloth translucent is toggled with Alt plus 7. With this feature on, we can see the inner garment plates and the outline of the model. The eighth function is Show Patterns Mesh. The triangular surface on the clothing surface is actually the so-called particle. There is a similar feature in the 2D interface, which allows 2D plates to display the particles. We can also change its particle distance in the property editor on the right. The less the value, the smaller each triangles will be, and the 3D effect simulated by the garment will be more delicate. 
In order to let you see the function next more intuitive, we first open the simulate. Stress map shows that the pressure map on meshes out plus four can open this function. It will have a very clear force index and degree color for a certain point. Below this function is the strain map, which shows the current stretch degree of our cloth. The corresponding stroker key is L plus 5. Yellow is the place where the clothes are tight and uncomfortable, and red is the place where the clothes are too tight. Pull the mouse so you can adjust the inappropriate parts. The color column and percentage on the right give us a better idea of how loose the current garment is. Below that is the fit map. You can open it with all six. Yellow is the part of the current dress that is too tight, red as an area that can be worn successfully. The third function from the bottom is show internal line. You can demonstrate that by drawing a line on the 2D window on the left. The right 3D window will also have it appear. The penultimate function is hide style 3D. When we freeze or straighten the plates and this function is turned off, the color difference will be shown. Freeze is turning blue, straighten is yellowing. The last one is to show the style line. We can see that if we open this function, the inner line of the on the clothing and its overall outline will be traced. We can also check to show silhouettes, internal lines, top stitches, which will be more convenient for us to identify the overall outline. We can also choose the right line thickness and color. And then let's look at the properties of the right click in the 3D window. First of all, all of the above is the functional choices of perspective. Then there is a custom camera. We can rotate in 3D window to a desired angle and add a perspective at the plus sign. Then we can freely switch to the selected angle. We can also delete the custom pers perspective saved before. Next one is called Scene Align Center. You can choose to center the garment horizontally or vertically, and the garment will move to a position right in the center of our entire 3D window. So then here we have our coordinate functions, which are divided into three categories, world coordinate, screen coordinate, and local coordinate. The world coordinate are usually the ones we use the most. The world coordinate are based on the world, or no matter how we move it or how we rotate, the blue, red, green axis that indicate X, Y, Z in the three direction will change. After changing the screen coordinate, we click on the clothing plate and we can see that no matter how we rotate and move the angle of view, the coordinate axis are still right. One advantage of this is that when we move to a perspective like this and do a rotation, it's more intuitive to use our screen as a reference. The last coordinate type is local coordinate. When we rotate the view angle, we will feel that this coordinate is very similar to the world coordinate. They are not moving. But when we rotate the plate, we will find that our coordinate will rotate with the plate. That is to say, the coordinate and its position information is related to the plate. This coordinate type allows us to make microscopic adjustments to the position of some parts, such as attachments. And then below, that is scene environment, where we can set the background color, edit the background image, and then show the grids. The environment settings are the same as in the scene in the previous column. There are also two functions that allow us to reset the 2D and 3D arrangement. Here you can see that the front plate is not repositioned, that is because the plate is frozen from before and only when you activate it, it can be repositioned.
Here are some features that show hide the and show the elements and you can explore them by yourself. There are the three main points in this lesson. Number one, pay attention to the bounding box of the model when clothing simulation. Number two, the smaller particle distance is, the finer clothing simulation effect is. And number three, the coordinate axis of local coordinate move with the garment plate rotation. That's it, guys. I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please like, comment, and share this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.